Raymond gave his dad, when he was a 12-year-old, a poem. He says, Dad, I'm giving you a promise. I will win the title that you so well deserve. Mancini going all out. Prius has not thrown a punch. It's all over. All the men in my neighborhood, they were grinders, nine to five guys, salt of the earth people, best people I know. I just know I couldn't do that. I wanted something different. He did what he set out to do. He won the championship that his father never was able to attain. They loved the whole idea of Ray, the fact that he was close with his family. He was a positive guy. He always talked great about Youngstown. He loved Youngstown. You know, people love that about Ray. It was the hottest thing on television. Everybody was just, you know, in awe of this guy from, you know, where he came from, talking about his dad. Ray was always great for ratings. People took to him. They loved his style. Really straight ahead and banging. Days before he fights Dooku Kim, the most marketable fighter in the world, Sugar Ray Leonard announces his retirement. You know who that leaves? Boom Boom Mancini. He's set up perfect. He can run the table right now. All he's got to do is go past this kid, Dooku Kim. This father and son thing that has run through the Mancini family for years, and for him to tragically have taken the life of a father, and now to meet that son, that's got to be that's got to be a real challenge for him. So what's left to be said? Sometimes, some things are better left unsaid. Maybe just when I shake his hand, I give him a hug. Maybe I'll put closure for him, for me, for my children. I think at that moment, I'm gonna feel a sense of relief, a sense of peace. I hope he finds the same.